everyone. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I want to talk about Disney Dreamlight Valley and how I'm pretty much giving up on the game. Now, at the time of making this video, I have 202 hours into the game, so I do know a thing or two about it. So when this game first came out, like I feel like it was really fun, really chill. I feel like we were also kind of in a cozy gaming drought, like there was nothing else that was new coming out, maybe, maybe not, maybe I missed something that came out around the same time, but it really did just like fill in a gap that, you know, Animal Crossing maybe had left where, you know, farming and being cozy and all that, and then obviously it offered a bit more because it's Disney related and there's a lot of opportunities with that at the time. So the first thing that should have been a red flag to me personally is that even though it was heavily advertised as a free to play game, you still had to pay $30 to play it, and you still have to at this point. I think it's been over a year since it came out, and you still have to pay to play it, even though it's supposed to be free to play. And I get that it's like early access or whatever, but it, you still have to play it. You still have to pay to even log into it. Like, abs there's absolutely no free version still as of right now. And then also, there's already been uh, the premium shop introduced into the game, even though we're still not even in the full release of the game, you still can buy items already, even though we're still in early access. So I'll pass that point. So now let's say you finally, you bought the game, you're playing it. So every, what, two months, I think, like a new update comes out and that's fine. But I, I feel like the majority of like the new update is the new star path and you have to pay for that. So like, not only are you, you already bought the game, now you're paying for like the updates. I mean, I know there are some free parts of the update, like new quests, but I feel like that's like 25% of the update and the other half, and the other half is the actual star path. And then another issue I have with the star path. So first of all, you already paid for it, but then you have to work for the items that you paid for. And then on top of that, you have a limited amount of time to actually get those items that you paid for. And I get still, it's still a reasonable amount of time, which is like, I think 60 days, about 60 days. It might be a little bit less, might be more. I can't quite remember, but it's just weird that like you pay for something and you have to work for it and you have to do it within a specific time frame. And then otherwise you'd lose it, which is weird to me at least. Especially since, you know, you never know what could happen. Something could happen where you can't play the game for two months. And then if you paid for it and then you didn't have the time to play it, then you lost what you paid for, which I, I don't understand the whole, it should be like one or the other. Either you work for it for free or you pay for it and you should get it right away. Now I get that the star path is like the new quest line essentially, but again, you're already paying for it. So it's like, I don't know. It's just weird to me how, how they put it together like that. And then another issue I have with the star path now after all this time is that it is just cosmetic items. So I get that it's like optional or whatever, but I feel like it, I feel like either the premium shop should be just cosmetic items and the star path should be actual new gameplay, like new quests and stuff. But you can either just buy the premium shop items or you can buy the same thing just put into a quest line, which is the star path. So like in other words, what you're paying for isn't even a new quest line. Now, I, I think they did add one with the Wally -E pack, but I didn't get that, obviously. So you're paying for like a quest line and an item at the end, like a reward. So I don't really see the point of buying that. And then not to mention all of this is while it's still in early access or beta, it's still not the full release of the game. I also feel like after 200 hours of gameplay that the quests don't feel that unique from each other. Like I get, they're a little bit unique when you go into like the different characters or realms because you're exploring a new area at least. But then once you get them into your village, then that's the end of that. There's really no point of going back into the realms. So I think there might've been one or two quests where you had to go back, but it really it wasn't that much. And the rest of the time you're just wandering around the village. So I don't know, just overall, this game doesn't look like it. it's going to change much and it feels like, and then it also feels like I'm still going to be paying a lot just to play it. So that's why I'm just done with the game. I, I know a lot of people still like it and that's fine. I get it. It's fun. It's cozy. But to me, I feel like if it didn't have the Disney name into it, this game would have been long dead. Like nobody would be playing it. But because it has that Disney like skin on it, essentially, that's why it's still so popular. So that's pretty much it from today. Let me know what you think about the game in the current state, especially since like the beginning when it first came out compared to now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.